Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Chandelar. And um, yeah, we're going to dive back in. I still can't believe that I lost that uh, Library of Alexandria last week. That was that was uh, heavy. Uh, but the good news is I do have a Mox Emerald, I believe. Let's have a look. That's, of course, a card that I now have to put in every single deck. Um, where can we find the Mox? Here we go. Isn't it a beauty? Absolutely nice. I'm going to take out a forest. Boom. And I guess I got to do this for every single deck, right? Take out the forest, put in the mox. It's a bit uh, tedious. And I guess I now need, I've got a, the red, the blue one, the green one. So the last one I need is the, uh, sorry, I've got the green one, the black one, the blue one. So I now want to get the red one. Because red, of course, is the other color that I'm playing with. So you know what? We're just going to try to find out where we can get it. Let's take a forest out. Boom. I think I'm going to try this deck some more. My artifact deck. Um, it does look like I'm missing a card. Did I lose a card with this artifact deck? Did I? It's always so hard kind of to find back like what you lost. Maybe I just need to put in another Colossus of Sardia. Why not? Or do I have a Tetravus? Tetravus is quite good. Mm, no Tetravus. That is annoying. I could do it. I think Shapeshifter could be quite good in this format. I go for Shapeshifter. Um, anyway, let's have a look. Where could we get a Mox Ruby? Nope. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we got to go here. Contains small green creature, life loss carried over, Marsh Viper in effect, west of Windless Tower. Okay, so we're going to go into this uh, dungeon today, the Dungeon of Grass Keep. But first, a message from our sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, so we want to go in here. Let's see where it is. West of Windless Tower. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see if we can find Windless Tower. Um, west of Windless Tower, where could that be? Probably you're already seeing it here, Windless Standing, but I need Windless Tower. You're probably already seeing it on the map, but I'm not, so. Windless Temple. Windless Tower, okay, so we gotta go all the way up. That's what I'm gonna do. We've got a quest, take this message north. I'm actually going north, so I can do that. So north to Shilcliff Cliff Mill, Shilcliff Temple, Shilcliff Mill. Okay, I'm going that direction, so we can do that. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, I want to battle the Enchantress. Unfortunately, got to battle the Centaur Shaman. Okay, cool, man. We'll do it. Okay, let's see what I got. Gem Day Tome. Ivory. Hey, I got Turn One Tower. That's kind of nice. Uh, forests, a clay statue, and Dirkwood Boars. Okay. I know it could go Lana or Elves, but I'm just excited about having the tower turn one, so I want to, you know, gain some life. Let's see. Should I play Lana or, and then next turn I can play Clay Statue? I should probably do that. Oh, I know, of course, why I have 59 cards in this deck, because I lost my Library of Alexandria. Stupid. Um, okay, let's play Clay Statue. I wonder if there's a way to get Library of Alexandria back. Let me know in the comments if there's like some kind of weird way to get it in a dungeon, maybe, or, or get a duplicate card or something. Um, let's go forest. I 
I could go Gem Tome. I think I'm just gonna go Dirkwood Boars. I really like the Dirkwood Boars. It's so cool. They remind me of Asterix and Obelix. I don't know if you know the comic, but Obelix is constantly eating boar. So it really re remind me of that. Anyway, um, passes a ton. So far, so good. He's actually not doing anything. Like, literally nothing. He's only played at one forest, right? That's it. Um, it's funny how this game works, that sometimes it's super easy and you feel like your deck is overpowered, and the next time you lose your Library of Alexandria. I guess that is what makes it interesting, right? Um, and this is the game, I think. Unless he's got a fog, that would be quite nice. Nope. Ooh, gay as Avenger. That's a cool card. Yay! Buy cards, wild growth. Yeah, let's get that one. Um, speak to the man. I shall, to assist you, I shall tell you. Might seem obvious to one such as you, but I tell you now that the only wise course is to duel and defeat the Lord of every guilt. Okay, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Um, so I'm going north, right? Yeah. Shellcliff Mill. Shellcliff Mill. And then I've got to go to the Windless Tower. Okay. Upwards we go. Accept tribute. Sure. A spell from my deck. Ooh, three white jewels. Thank you. Like you need those wild, uh, white jewels to teleport. I could get another Tranquility. Why not? Okay, where am I now? Okay, I just gotta go up straight. Duel the Sorcerer. Ooh, Winds of Change. It's a pretty cool card. Maybe I should have changed the ante, by the way, with the Cockatrice. Oh well, we'll see. Okay, so I've got a Trike, a Dirkwood Boar, a Forest, a Clay Statue, a Desert Twister, a Lanor Elves, and a huge Colossus. And of course, a Celestial Prism. That's not really going to help me, but okay. What I need, I mean, I can I can give you a whole analysis of my hand, but what my hand really needs is just Lance. Okay, Winds of Change, that helps. Ooh, Mox Emerald, cool. Uh, I guess I could just attack with the Lana Word. Next turn, I can cast the Cockatrice. And then if I find another land to turn after, I can do the Trike. Which is really good. Ooh, the Earth Jackal. And the Mons Goblin Raiders. Okay. He's going for it. Um, I'm going to go for the, uh, for the Cockatrice. 2-4 Flyer. Oh, I'm going to lose my trike. That's unfortunate. A death effect. Okay. Oh, so I cannot regenerate. Okay. Is that really called a death effect? That's so funny. Okay. Channel is like the last card I need right now. Um, I'm going to attack. Ooh, giant strength. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's animate. You know what? I'm going to try to outrun him. If he wants to trade, that's fine. I mean, he's on five now. I do love Giant Strength. It's such a cool card. The original art of Giant Strength is pretty, pretty spooky, actually. Sisters of the Flame. Okay. Hmm. What is Wisdom? 
Actually, I don't want to lose my factory, I think, because I want to be able to keep casting the Desert Twister. I could Desert Twister the Sisters of the Flame. That's an option. You know what? I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to attack. I just got to be patient. It's a little annoying. Look at that swing in for five. Okay, so let's choose the blockers. Let's block. Then, of course, it's going to pump itself so it doesn't die. I am going to drop to 17, but hey, potato, potato. Next turn, I can attack for five, win the game, hopefully, unless he casts a blocker. Ooh, another Sisters of the Flame. That's going to do it, actually. That's, that's enough. Um, I don't have enough mana to play and the Desert Twister and animate the factory, unfortunately. So I just have to just attack. Let's animate. Why not? Then we block. As one does. Pump assembly worker, sure. Dropping to 12. Oh no, oh no. Another, wow, another Sisters of the Flame. That's cool. And a Balloon Brigade. But luckily for me, he doesn't have any mana to get Balloon Brigade flying, or else he could have chumped. Yay! Brothers of Fire, such a cool card. Mana Barbs, also also a very interesting card. I feel Mana Barbs is a card that, you know, has potential still. Ooh, Winter Blast, Wall of Spears, nothing special. Um, Shellcliff Mill, so just, we just gotta go straight. Whoa, why am I here again? Just go straight. There's the mill, people. We found the mill, people. They're pleased to see us. Trade green amulets for blue cards. No, thank you. The cards the jailer suggests. If you combine install energy with clockwork beast, you can untap your beast right after you buy back any lost counters. Wow, that is, I actually, that is a combo I never thought about. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is awesome. I'm gonna make a little screenshot so I don't forget. This is gonna be in forgotten combos, people. If you don't know what Forgotten Combos is, you need to check out the channel more. Every Monday. Wow, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. This is a good stash. Look at me go. Um, You know what I actually need now that I'm buying all those enchantments? I need for Jiren Enchantresses. How many do I have? Let's have a look. How many Enchantresses do I have? Okay, for Jiren Enchantress, we gotta go for the V. Two for Jurens. Okay, I think if I could get a third one, I could start building myself. Ooh, look at all those black cards. I could start building myself a, um, a respectable for Jurens Enchantress deck. That would be kind of cool. I really got to sell some black cards. The black cards are so cool. It's so hard to sell them. I, they're, they're so cool. But then again, I'm not playing with black, so. Wow, look at how many black cards I've, like, collected. The last, I don't know, couple of weeks? Uh-oh. I, uh, I think we got a crash situation. No, we're back. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Like the sound was gone, everything was gone. The thing is you can only like keep an X amount of cards anyway, so it's better to just sell stuff here. I think, by the way, um, since we're gonna go into 
the dungeon. Let me check the dungeon stats again. So we're going to go into the dungeon of Karas Keep, right? Life loss carried over. So I think we want to... I think we need to take out the channels. I'm sorry. God, they're super cool, the channels, and I want to play with them. But I think in this case, we need to take them out. And maybe we should put in just Stream of Lives. Let's have a look. Where are my stream of lives? Do I, don't I have any? S, 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 S. Ah, there we go. Could play with two stream of lives. That could work. Let's see. 14, 16, 20, 22. And then I've got Soul Ring and Mox. So it's basically 24, right? And I've got Lana Ralphs. I've got a lot of mana sources. Buy cards and hints. Oh yeah, that's again the the one I already checked out. Okay, so we gotta go to Shillcliff Keep. No, Windless Tower, right? That's, I think Windless Tower. West of Windless Tower, okay. Onwards we go to Windless Tower. No, 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 no. I don't want to play against you. No, 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 leave me alone. Trade green amulets for black cards. Don't really need it. Could buy a fog, fog school card. Um, but I need to go to Windless Tower. And I saw this one, the Path of Kronos. Ah. Well, maybe later. I don't really need anything from the Path of Kronos. Oh man, somebody's attacking something. Who's attacking what? All the way over there. You know what? I'm first just gonna go into this tower. I don't care. It was near the tower, right? Okay, let me check. West of Windless Tower. I think I'm now in Windless Tower. Yes, I'm in Windless Tower. West of Windless Tower. Okay, so... Yay, there it is! Okay, people. Whoa, 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 stop! There's a, there are a lot... Did you see that? There are a lot of, of um, enemies over there. Okay, the card seller suggests if you combine Bettering Ram with Lure, yes, you can kill all the wolves. I know. I know. So I've been told. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to pay money to you because I just want to go into the dungeon. Oh, God. Let me, let me go into the dungeon. Wow, that cost me like 300 gold. But we're into the dungeon of Cross Keep. Oh. Let's find out if we can uh, can get the Mox Ruby. Okay, uh, what is the total casting cost of Warp Artifact? I believe two black, right? Yeah, good. Ooh, the way is blocked, is it now? More people blocking the way. Uh, I feel that the dragon is the best one because then I can just answer a question. The forest dragon. Okay, let's have a look. So I've got Yoshin Soldier, Mishra's Factory, Lanara Elves, Desert, Factory, Trike, Forest. Ooh, this is going to be helpful. Um, Let's go Factory. Let's go Emerald. And let's play. There we go. The next turn I can play Yoshin Soldier. Trike is pretty close. Gotta take some damage now. Now remember, if you have 10 poison counters, you die. So I wonder if the poison counters also, if you also take those with you. I hope not, because that would be kind of brutal. Um, should I do Yoshin Soldier or Dancing Scimitar? I guess I should do Scimitar. Because then I'm using all my mana. Another option could be Yoshin Soldier Attack for one. That's another one. There we go, people. Okay, he's not attacking. That's a good sign. Um, let's animate. And now we're just going to attack with the Yoshin. 
Sorry with the assembly worker, of course, and we're gonna play the ocean after. Hey, okay. One, two, and three. Should have attacked with the scimitar as well, by the way. My bad. Hopefully I'm not gonna regret that mistake. Okay, gonna play the factory. Let's put the factories here. And now I've got enough for the trike, so we're gonna cast trike. Okay, then I'm gonna attack with this and with the ocean. If he blocks, yeah, that's good. Okay, let's just put one damage on the Viper. There we go. It's an efficient way to get rid of the blocker, right? And then next turn I can just, boom, move on with the forces. Would be nice to draw like um, a stream of life right now. Desert. Play this one out. Okay. Tap the soul ring. Change to assembly worker. Use the mana for that. Change to assembly worker. And then we're gonna attack with the team. So that's two, four, five, six, nine, ten damage, right? There we go. Hmm, could have played the ocean. Oh, he's gonna gain life. Hey, I got a stream of life. I was hoping to find a stream of life. I want to tap to the max, of course. Eight. Yeah, stream of life is so handy in these dungeons. Because now I'm at 32, so I'm at a higher life total than with what I started. And now I can... Oh, no, I only have two counters left on the trike, or else I could have killed him. Okay, he gets one more turn. But yeah, this is perfect, right? I'm, I'm 32, which is great. The deck's, the deck's doing its thing. Let's just attack with the trike. Oh, we'll just, we'll, we'll throw in the ocean. The ocean into the ocean. There we go. Which of these spells has a power of one? Ash one, Jaguar, I believe is a two, two. Grizzly Bear is a two, two. Wall of Dust, I believe that's a one, six. Segovian Levi Leviathan, a 3 3 Clockwork Avian, actually an 0 4, but it comes to play with 4 plus 1 plus 0 counters on it. This one's cheeky. Uh, Wall of Dust, I think. Yeah, oh, it's a 1 4, not a 1 uh, 1 6. Hmm. What to do here? I'm just, I, again, I'm going to go for the question. A Prismat. At least I'm winning the toss, so I want to play first. Okay, I do see a Llanowar Elves here, so I can go Forest, Llanowar. And look at that, you don't take the Poison Counters with you, so that's a good sign. I have to say the Turn 1 Marsh Viper is pretty annoying. Especially because of that 2 toughness. I just wish they would have made the Viper maybe a 1-4 for 4 mana, or make it 2 mana for a 1-2. It would just be a little bit more playable, you know? Not too good, but just a little bit more playable. Uh, I'm going to attack with the Lanomer. I'm just going to say don't auto-tap. Wait, uh, don't auto-tap. Then I'm going to cast the Brass Man. The cool thing is... If he attacks, which I don't think he's gonna, but if he attacks with the Viper, I can block on Brassman, deal the damage with Desert, kill the, the Viper. If you like Poison decks, by the way, I've got some nice old school uh, magic games on the channel with, uh, with Poison. There's the Onulet. Okay, uh, let's think. I could go Scimitar. Why not? I mean, Scimitar flies over. Ooh, next turn I can cast Dirkwood Bores, my favorite. I mean, it could go Cockatrice and Step, but I think I'm gonna go for Dirkwood Bores, four power. What is a little annoying is that the Prismod is gaining life from the Ivory Tower, so it's not ideal. Could take a while. Okay, another Onulet. Talking about taking a while. These 
Creatures are going to gain life as well. Um, you know what? I'm going to go Cockatrice. I know I said I want to go Dirkwood Boars, but now with the double Onulet, I think this is a better option. At least dealing a point of damage. He's going to gain a new life now anyway from Tower, but... We got it today. We got it today. Tower Stone. Let's attack. It's a Sunday here now. It's not a morning though. It's like uh, evening. Well, late in the afternoon. It's like three, four o'clock. It's a beautiful day. It is slowly getting darker though, which is some, something I just, I love, what I love about the summer is the fact that it just stays light so long. Oh man, this is bad. Earthquake for four. Is he also killing his own stuff? Oh, but he's gaining life. Okay, I get it. I get it. Very clever. Very clever. I think I should play with Onulet, actually. It's quite good in um, Chandelar. And I have Onulets. Maybe I should play Onulet over Brassman. Or I mean uh, over... Um, you know what? I'm just going to empty my hand. Over Yochin Soldier or Brassman. Like, those are the options. What's the casting cost of this again? Three, right? Yeah, so Yochin Soldier. Maybe play two Yochins and two Onulets. It's probably better. Oh, Mox Ruby, that's the card. That's why I'm in the dungeon. No, Hurricane, dude. Can we stop killing my people and dealing damage to me? Oh, this is so annoying, but this is really nice. I can go book. And I've got the mana to activate the book, but let's first attack. Let's attack. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be patient. I'm going to use the book in his end step. And I'm just going to hope that I don't forget, which would be very typical. Oh, living artifact, more life gain. Oh, this dude is so annoying. This dude is so annoying. Done. Tranquility, really? Uh, oh no, why did I play this card out? Oh, it's good. Okay, it's soaring. Okay, for a moment I thought I wouldn't have enough mana to, to use my tome as well. Um, let's attack. <coughs> yeah, you gain, you gain more life now. This is horrible. You know what? I'm going to use the tome now because I really need to find something. Hey, Lawnower Elves. Okay, at least it's a creature that can attack, you know. I could play Tranquility, of course, to get rid of the Living Artifact. It seems a bit excessive for Tranquility for one Living Artifact. Then again... Whoa, okay, now I'm gonna play... Now I'm gonna play Tranquility. Now you did it. I mean, I started this... I started uh, at a total of... 32 and look at my life total now. I'm in 22. This is really bad. Um, okay, let's go tranquility, forest, and soul ring. There we go. So that's uh, settled. And I want to draw a card as well. Okay, there's a twister. That's something. I mean, he's on 11. I can attack him for 3 if I'm lucky. Let's untap. Another soldier. Okay, that's kind of nice. Probably should draw a card first, by the way, instead of using uh, playing the soldier out and using the, uh, the factory. Okay, let's attack people. There we go. Dealing damage, taking names. Let's play out this tower, even though it's pretty worthless at the moment. You never know. I need a Wheel of Fortune, right? This deck needs a wheel. No, there's not even red in here, by the way. Oh, look at that. Black Lotus showing muscle. 
Fun fact, I am now the owner of a Black Lotus for just the last two years, I think. Even less. It was really a big moment for me. I never thought I would own a Black Lotus. It's insane when you think about it. Um, draw a card. Okay, we got Lanawer Elves. You know what? I'm going to use my Tomb. Okay, we got a factory. That's something. I can play this out. Can't kill him, though. He's got another turn. I mean, he can hit him for four half his life. I'm probably going to win this, right? But even so, I lost 10 life, which is which is bad. Oh, of course. Yeah, sure, man. Game life. I got all the time in the world. Okay, Scimitar. I'm just going to again use the book. Oh, Stream of Life. I am very happy with Stream of Life, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I've, I'm actually not going to kill you, my friend, because I want to have a turn. I'm just going to attack with these. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do, because next turn I want to play Stream of Life. I'm going to pass the turn. You're on three, and I'm happy with that. Next turn, I'm going to use all my mana to play a huge Stream of Life. Ooh, a detonate. That's going to deal even more damage to me. This, this dragon is so annoying. It's funny that he doesn't detonate my scimitar. Would make, would make more sense, but okay. Uh, I'm not going to untap the brass man, because I want to have that life. Uh, I'm going to twist. Nine. Okay, that's great. And look at this. I'm missing like one, one point. That's a Yochin that he killed. That's giving him another turn. And I'm, I'm not happy because if he plays, for example, an Earthquake now for four. Ah, please just don't, don't deal any debt. That's what I mean. That's what, that's what I was afraid of. God. I was so happy with my stream of life. I thought it was so clever. Look at me now. Howling Mine. Oh, Howling Mine Ivory Tower. That's pretty cool. The prop he also has an Ivory Tower. Shall I go? Shall I just do it? Why not? Why not? I'm actually going to use... No, I just should just do it like this. One, two... Howling mine. Okay, I'm also going to use my factory to attack. I just hope that he doesn't play out any more like earthquakes or hurricanes. It's, it's just really bad. It is inspiring. Every time I play against, against him, I'm like, okay, I want to make an earthquake hurricane deck. Maybe creatureless or something. Um, okay, we're gonna draw. Ooh, another stream of life. That is good news. Um, shall I just play it out? Why not? Stream of life, huge. Let's do it. And we're gonna attack for one. Still not gaining life with the tower, by the way. Okay, strip mine. I could keep these cards in hand, I think. I think that's better, because then I gain two more life, and I can't kill him anyway this turn, so... You know what? I'm just going to put him on one. I think that's a good... I think that's a good move. I could, of course, see if I can pick up something to gain me more life. A factory kill this past turn. Because now I've got seven in hand, so I'm going to gain three, going to go back up to 31. 
Ooh, cockatrice. Okay, so I could go factory. Uh, I've got eight in hand, so I want to go workshop. And I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm just not going to attack because I first want to gain some more life with the tower. Ooh, a disenchant. Okay, look at him go. I'm, I'm just going to use my tome in response because I'm a pro. I'm pretty happy with myself. Things are going okay. Oh, stream of life. Okay. Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Um, so I had life from the tower already. Let's draw some cards. Oh, wow. More life gain, right? Um, let me think. I can go trike. Three, four five six let's play it out let's put this one separate i guess i want to keep four. Oh yeah and then i can also play yochen soldier one two three and then i can't attack with the factory because i need the mana to draw a card so i gain an extra life so he's gonna pass Inferno, are you kidding me? Every time that I'm starting to gain some life, this dude is doing something that totally wrecks my board. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, he's killing himself. That's actually bad. Dang it, I wanted to gain some more life. Um, okay, what is the power rating of El Hajash? Unfortunately, only one. I think they should have made it at least a 2-2 if you look at the casting cost. Ooh, another dragon. Man, this is, this is, a, is it me? This is a hard dungeon. Um, but there are two dice. Let's go, let's do it. Let's do it. The Prisma has won the toss. Oh man, ran out of coffee. Only got water. Um, this is actually a pretty bad hand because I have no Lunar Elves. I do have a factory, which is good. So I can go factory next turn forest, then I can animate factory to block Viper, right? I got Yochin Soldier to play the turn after, so. Four poison counters. When is the last time that you've had four poison counters? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Probably a long time ago. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to let him attack. Hopefully he doesn't see the factory. Animate factory block Viper. Oh, wait. Okay. Change to assembly worker. Yes, please. Choose blockers. Yes, please. Please, no disenchant. Okay, perfect. This worked like a charm. This is great. Oh, Wrath of God. Look at him go. That was a very creative way to destroy one of my lands. Um, let's go this on the Felwar. Every time I'm drawing my Living Artifact in this deck, I'm like, why do I have Living Artifact in this deck? I think a deck where Living Artifact is good is if you play with Copper Tablet, that can really work, or if you play with Fajorn Enchantress, or maybe with both. Uh, okay, Lanawar Elf can go. Hopefully I can just draw more lands so my stream of life can be useful. Oh, again Inferno, are you kidding me? This dragon, this dragon is insane. And now I've got a problem. I really needed that Lanoral for mana. Oh man, this is not good. Oh wait, I've got Living Artifact now, right? Because I took damage? Yes, I gotta remember to use my Living Artifact. Ooh, nothing's going on. 
A lot of things in my deck cost four. Dancing Scimitar, Clay Statue. Hmm. Let's use Living Artifact. Okay, a forest. Good. I was worried. Uh, oh, I got Gemini Tome as well. But I'm going to go for Scimitars. I got a blocker for the Onu left, which I think is important. Oh, of course, a hurricane for five. Yeah, why not? Oh, man, this is so annoying. Let's gain another life. What can I do? Just cast another scimitar, I guess. I'm just kind of worried playing against this opponent because he has hurricanes, earthquakes, wrath of God, sure. I'm not really worried about wraths, to be honest. Uh, okay, I've got factory. I can play Dirkwood Boars. Let's play Dirkwood Boars. It's cool. Play me some Dirkwood. I am liking this. Forest, I can go trike, but let's first just attack. Reverse damage. Oh, this is hilarious. If he also has eye for an eye, then I'm just gonna go nuts. That would be that would be epic. Reverse damage. Wow. That is, I, I love these AIs. I love the decks they build. I just, it's just very entertaining. Very cool reverse damage. I mean, when's the last time you've been reverse damaged? Okay, but I can attack you for eight. So I'm gonna put you on nine nonetheless. Play forest. Um. No, I don't have enough mana to end play Tome and use it. So I'm just going to go Clay Statue. Pass a turn. And then Stream of Life next turn, I guess? Yeah, I'm going to Stream of Life try to kill him. Oh, an Earthquake for four. That is brutal. Okay, let's just put him on six. And I can regenerate my statue. Hmm. Oh, he's gonna gain life. That this guy is hilarious. So I'm gonna stream of life. Of course, I can kill him as well, but I just want to gain some more life first. Let's attack him with the statue. I'm really happy with all the stream of lives I put in my deck. I think that they're really, they really come in handy here. So even if he kills my clay statue, because I don't have mana to regenerate, it doesn't matter because I've got to, to trike that I can play. Let's go trike. And we're going to kill him. That's it. Dang it, really? Ooh, I got an extra life. Oh, man. All these dice, I want to see... Okay, if I go here, it's just... The path is finished. So I think I got to go this way. Let's get something more. Even more life. Okay, Um, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, losing the toss again. Oh, look at that hand. That's really bad. Okay, oh no, it's actually, I can play Brass Man. That's something. Oh, God. You just know whenever you're in the dungeon, there's always going to be that game where you're completely mana screwed. And that's the thing I worry about. That's what happened last week, if you saw the episode. I was doing great until that moment where I got completely screwed and I lost my Library of Alexandria. That's kind of what I'm worried about now as well. And at the same time, I don't want to use all the dice yet because, you know, 
It's a, it's a difficult balance. Um, I'm gonna go Howling Mine. Why not? Let's let's just draw some cards. Drawing cards is fun. This card has always been popular. Always. We used to have this super long multiplayer games back in the 90s, like eight people like at a table. Nobody knew what the other guy was doing and we'd all just throw down our howling minds. It was hilarious. Uh, okay, this is great because I was looking for looking for mana. Three is the magic number because I can play my Yochins. Yochin soldiers. Disenchant. Okay, sure. Look at that attack. Uh, I'm going to block the Onulet, actually. I'm fine with four poison counters. Let's play another Yoshin. Next turn, I can cast a Cockatrice, which is a flyer, and I can start dealing some damage. Another Disenchant. Okay. Wow. I can't really remember the last time I've seen so many disenchants in Chandelar. Like in, 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 in real life magic, you see them all the time in old school. It's just so annoying. But in Chandelar, you don't see them that often. Um... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go Lanawar Elves and Yochin instead of Cockatrice here. So I'm just I just want to play out two creatures, and also the Lanawar is gonna give me a mana next turn. Got this cool Colossus I want to play out. Certain point. Uh oh. Oh Inferno! Are you kidding me? Oh man. Okay, stream of life. I'm happy with that. Let me think. Uh, what is wisdom? Maybe just Dirkwood Bores. Maybe just Dirkwood Bores. I'm just really worried to play against this deck because he's got all those X spells. He's going to blow me out of the water. I need to gain some life quick. But I want to I wanna be able to, to get some more mana out before I play my, my stream of life, right? Another living artifact. Oh, an earthquake. Are you kidding? Oh, man. I'm getting nervous. I really am. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Wait, can I? No, I don't have enough mana to play Jerem the Tope and use, use it in the same turn. Um, I'm going to go Stream of Life. I mean, I just really felt like I needed to gain something. I mean, look at him go. He's gaining two life a turn thanks to Living Artifact. I do I do respect that combo between, you know, the Hurricane, the Earthquake, and the Living Artifact. It's just hilarious. There's a tower. Um, okay. Tower is really good, by the way. That's a problem. Another problem for me. Um... Let's play this one out. There we go. Let's play the tone. Let's draw a card. Let's play the forest. Okay. I'm tempted to. Well, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have an active tower yet, so I'm just not going to use the desert twister on that. But I have to say he's he's a pretty worthy opponent. Um, ooh, I can play Colossus of Sardia. I think when you can play Colossus of Sardia, you have to play Colossus of Sardia. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Here's the big man. I so want to get an instant energy. I'm looking forward to just attacking with the Colossus. Computer is thinking forever. 
From the Sardian mountains wakes ancient doom, warrior born from a rocky womb. Antiquities, the set where the Colossus came from, is such a cool set. It's so there's so much flavor. It's it's the first set that really had its own lore and story. It's like super cool. Uh, but first things first, let's attack. There we go. Um, I could go trike or let's first go to tome. Let's see if we can find something. Okay, we've got a forest. Let's play out the trike. I mean, part of me is tempted to go for the long game, try to find Ivory Tower, gain life that way, or maybe another stream of life. I'm at, you know, I'm on 16. I really rather be on like 20, 20 plus. Then again, the longer this game takes, the more chance that exactly that the dragon maybe finds like a hurricane spell or whatever. Um, let's go this. Let's draw a card. Okay, there's a Yochim soldier. I could play another tome perhaps. Could put a separate play a tome and then let's play a tome. Soul ring. Let's play tome. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just only gonna attack with the uh, with the trike. He's gonna gain ton of life back. He's actually going up or not? Yeah, he is. Whatever, man. I'm gonna use the tome on end step. Gonna try to dig a little bit deeper. And then the question is, am I gonna untap my Colossus of Sardia? Very tempting. Tempting thing to do, because it's so cool. Oh, Wrath of God, okay. Oh, whatever, man. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, draw a card. See what I find. Okay, so there's another factory. I can go. I can go trike. Another trike. I can go. Ocean Soldier, I can keep mana open for a Tome activation, at least one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's pass turn. I still want to find my Howling, um, or my Stream of Life, I mean. Or my Tower. Maybe I should Desert Twister the Tower, because he's gaining so much life from it. Oh, are you kidding me? He's got so many living artifacts now. Oh, of course, Wrath of God. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I know. Every everything gets a counter. I know. I know. Enter, enter, enter. <sighs> wow, he's on twenty six. This is insane. Let's draw a card. A strip mine, okay. Um, let's go strip mine. I think we're gonna go desert twister. Let's destroy the ivory tower. You're done, bucko. Uh, let's play another. Ooh, this is badly tapped. I did a bad job tapping. I apologize. Could have been able to also play out Alanoer. It's bad. Hmm. Oh. 
again, you know, he's dealing damage to me. He's gaining life. This is bad. I'm on 13. I'm not going up. I'm going down. Let's first just attack. I'm gonna play Lunar Elves. Gonna play Cockatrice. Let's go. Gonna draw a card, see what I can dig up. Shapeshifter, not really what I need. Gonna pass a turn. really want to get some live gain. Oh, this is making me nervous. 15! I'm gonna die? Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, man. This game. Fast effects. I can, I can draw a card. It's, I'm not gonna find anything I need. But yeah, Dirkwood Boris. That's amazing. The good news is I only lost the tranquility. The bad news is I'm an hour now into Chandelar. I've got nothing to show for. Uh, maybe I should call the episode that I've got nothing to show for. Yeah, this is uh, this has been disappointing. You know what I'm gonna do? Just to give myself a good feeling, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that village, protect that village. But first. Let's take some stuff out again. Um, the Stream of Lives can go out. They did work really well. Living Artifact can go out. That card didn't work at all. Um, and what shall I put in? Let me think. What could be good? Let's have a look. What could be useful? How many Colossus do I have? One. That's enough, by the way. I could play another Scimitar. That could be useful. Um, why am I looking at red cards? There are no red cards in the deck. Oh, you know what I'm going to play? Just for funsies. Oh, yeah. The channels can go back, of course, because they're good. And I could play... The Gaia's Avenger, just to, just to see. I just want to see how it works in, in Chandelar. I haven't. I don't think I've played it ever before in Chandelar. Um, I could go Hurricane. Oh, Instill Energy, of course, the card that I found. Um, that's it. Then I'm kind of full. Okay. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to use a White Jewel. And we're going to play against the Nether Fiend. Duel the Nether Fiend. I lose the toss. Makes sense. Start the duel. Uh, my hand isn't looking very attractive. Let's see what we got. We got a factory, a shapeshifter, a scimitar, a factory, a forest, a desert, and a statue. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for factory. Factory, factory, right? Oh, he's going to attack with the factory. Sure. Go ahead. Do do as you must. Um, I'm just going to go for another factory. You know, they can pump each other up. Let's pass a turn. Maybe I should have attacked because I'm on a higher high life total. I don't know. Okay. He's attacking. Sure. Go ahead, buddy, but then you're going to lose your poor Nether Shadow. I guess the computer doesn't see the factory a lot of times. Sometimes he does, though, right? Not quite sure how that works. Um, What do I have? I don't have the mana. Okay, I'm just going to attack. Because I, I can hit him for three, and I've got more life, so. 
There we go. Sure, 22. Sure, man. I think ideally this deck where I want to go towards is playing with, I don't know, four channels. Maybe three channels is enough. And then four Colossus of Sardia, like something like that. Just really try to abuse the, the mana from, from channel. Um, ooh, lots of options. I guess Dancing Scimitar is just a good blocker. I feel like my deck maybe has too many, like, Three, four casting cost creatures. Oh, look, look at him go. Uh, I guess I'm blocking this one. Another factory. Let's just put that here. Oh, I could have killed. Oh, no, I was tapped out. I was, I couldn't, I was tapped out. Okay, didn't miss. I want to say I could have killed um, the Black Knight with the help of the desert but i was tapped out okay let's see don't auto tap because this is a useful card we're gonna play another cemetery shall i go i'm gonna go statue i wonder if he's now gonna attack because i don't have the mana to regenerate my statue so maybe he thinks "Ooh, this is a chance for me to attack oh cormus bell what a boss that is so cool that is so cool. Uh, the nice thing about Cormus Bell is it makes um, your creatures are 1-1 one, one, uh, black creatures. I don't know if that counts in this version of the game, though. But then if you have a bad moon, they become actually 2-2s, two which is pretty cool. Um, but, 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 but. First, a forest. Oh, I could play a trike. Oh, that's nasty. Am I, am I that mean? Yes. Yes, of course. I mean, I just got, you know, killed in a dungeon. I'm just going to just slowly, one at a time. I'm going to enjoy this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to pass turn. Look at him go. Um, I'm gonna double block actually. I'm gonna take take two from the knight. Ooh, I could play shapeshifter. That's cool. Let's go shapeshifter. Um, three four. That is nice. Um, shall I attack with my one five? You know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to pass the turn. I think next turn I will attack Shapeshifter and Scimitar and Clay Statue because I can regenerate. Although with the Black Knight first strike, it doesn't make sense to attack with the Clay Statue. Ooh, but I could attack with one of the factories. You know what? I'm going to do that. Change to assembly worker. Exactly. Done. Let's attack. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, wow. He, re he really wants to kill the... Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, shall I... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can just play double Yoshin. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to pump the uh, assembly worker. Three points left. One, two... And I'm actually, I'm just not going to kill because I'd rather kill the lance. You know, that's better, obviously. Um, okay, sure. Um, and then I can play double Yoshin Soldier. Okay, the computer is a little glitchy. Please let me cast Yoshin. Thank you. Was a little worried there. Oh, I should have animated my factory, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But next, next turn, next turn, next turn. 
Okay, let's pass. I am going to attack. You know, I got four factories. I didn't even realize. Okay, um, cool. No, not get mana. Maybe it's just one of those days. I'm not sure if playing Chandler makes you a be better magic player, but it definitely makes you a better clicker, for sure. I mean, maybe I need an old-fashioned mouse, you know, like you had the separate mouse connected to your laptop. Maybe I need that. Maybe that, that'll help. Um, let me think, though. I'm gonna just... You know what? I'm just gonna attack with, like... Not everything, not with the Lanawar, but I'm just going to attack with the rest. Let's see. Okay. Um, pump an assembly worker. And let's see, does the Nether Fiend... No, it's not blocking anything. Okay. Use regeneration effects, yes, please. Okay, I think we're fine. Everything survived, right? Okay, pass turn. Okay, let's play forest. Um, I think if I just attack with everything, I think it's going to die. I mean, he's on six. Let's go. Change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. Change to assembly worker. And now we're going to attack. Uh, I'm I want to attack with these guys. Come on. Oh no. My laptop is refusing. I can only attack with my single assembly worker. <sighs> Why? Why? No, 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 don't rechange. At least let, let me pump the assembly worker so I kill this, this Black Knight. It's so annoying when my laptop does that. I know I know people like gave me some advice in the chat how to like restart the combat phase, but I haven't been successful. But sometimes it just does that. It doesn't allow you to click on with other attackers. It just, it freezes somehow. Um, but I'm not complaining. I think overall this version is running pretty smooth. Okay, people, here we go. Let's attack. You know what? We're just going to attack with everything. Who cares? There we go. To save the day. Oh, look at all those cards. Take the cards. Okay. I'm really happy. Okay, good. Uh, let me save the game. Thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. The channel where we play Chandelar and we talk about old school magic at the same time. Such a good multitasker. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, before you go, please like, share, and comment this um, this video. All these things are free and really help uh, the channel move forward. YouTube just loves it if you like stuff. So please do. Thank you so much. Um, and of course, you can also become a patron of the show. So if you want to support my channel, want to support what I do, uh, check it out. You know, it's it starts for one dollar a month, and for that dollar, you get access to the Timmy Talks Discord. You can join in on the online events that I organize. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. So have a look. Patreon.com slash Timmy Talks. Okay. And um, I guess his last win kind of made up for that bad run. A little bit for that bad dungeon run. I don't know. It is what it is. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? The light of the morning. Wait.
Sombok Khajiq. 